justice for all. Good morning, Columbus. Today is Friday, the first week of Ordinary Time. Let us pray today for the students, faculty, and staff of Marist College in Pukizi, New York, and for Marist Schools and Ministries in Madagascar. Let us also pray that we always treat people with honesty, respect, dignity, and compassion. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Say, Marsha and Champagne, pray for us. Mary, our good mother, pray for us. And let us remember to pray for each other. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Today on CCN Live, Boeing's new Dreamliner has a few minor setbacks. And while there's no Facebook phone, you can still make calls via their iPhone app. CCN Live starts now. Good morning, Christopher Columbus. You're waking up to CCNN Live. Good morning, Columbus. Today is Friday, January 18th, 2013. I'm Chance Fernandez. I'm Philip Boatsma, and these are your announcements for the day. Seniors, some colleges to which you have applied may want a mid-year report. Check out the college website and your application status account to see if one is needed. To have a mid-year report sent, go to the headline, go to headline, print the mid-year report form that may be found under the guidance and senior section. Take the form to Brother Angelo as soon as possible. If your application to any college has been deferred, it's recommended that you have a mid-year report sent to that school. There will be a, and there will be a mandatory wrestling practice today after school for all JV and varsity wrestlers. Also, for seniors, the time is now to apply for the FAFSA and the Florida Bright Future Scholarship Program. The entire registration process for the Bright Futures takes less than 20 minutes. Do not miss out on being evaluated for these school scholarships by failing to apply. Do it today. For more information, please go see Mr. Vila. And now after the break, here's Mario Perez with your news report. And good morning, Columbus. This message is for you juniors and seniors. You're probably wondering what this is. This is an application form to go on the encounter January 30th, 31st, and February 1st. That's a Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Three days Hello? at the glorious Hello? Morning Star Retreat Center in the heart of Pinecrest, right by St. Louis Church, Palmetto High School. Three days to relax, reflect, enjoy, figure out where you're going, who you are, and why things are happening. Very spiritual, but I tell you, it's a lot of fun. The food is stratospheric. It's a good time. It's an important time. Mr. Gonzalez is going. Mr. Ibarra is going. I'm going. You need to get one of these. Come by A22, the campus ministry office. We'll give you one. Any questions, talk to me. Hope to see you there. Thank you very much. Hey, boys. Big game Friday against Belen. I want to see the whole student body out there. Go buy your tickets for tomorrow. Haven't sold any tickets. Let's get it today. Good morning, Columbus. Mr. Moritz here with the Air Mirror Update. Today, after school, 245, the tennis courts, dodgeball begins. I do not have a lot of rosters yet, so I'm not sure how many of you are going to show up. If you haven't signed up and you, can't find, and you, and you still want to play but haven't found a team, come on out. If you're not sure you want to play, come out and watch a little bit. See what it's about. Don't be afraid. It's an, it's an NBA event. No babies allowed but you can play. So 2.45 today, tennis courts, dress out, tennis shoes only. It's the second most exciting thing happening besides tomorrow night's game. Have a good day. The Royal Cup and the History Club members remind you why we have no school on Monday. Martin Luther King Jr. was an American clergyman, activist, and prominent leader in the African-American Civil Rights Movement. 
He is best known for his role in the advancement of civil rights using nonviolent civil disobedience. King has become a national icon in the history of American progressivism. A Baptist minister, King became a civil rights activist earlier in his career. He led the 1955 Montgomery bus boycott and helped found the Southern Christian Leadership Conference in 1957, serving as its first president. King's efforts led to the 1963 March on Washington, where he delivered his I Have a Dream speech. There, he established his reputation as one of the greatest orators in American history. Good morning. Today in news. The Federal Aviation Administration grounded all Boeing 787 Dreamliners yesterday. The FAA said lithium batteries used on the aircraft's pack more power than other batteries, allowing them to overheat or spontaneously combust. Over the past, two, over the past month, two Dreamliners have exposed this flaw, and in one case, a plane made an emergency landing in Japan because of a fire erupting. The FAA will ground the Dreamliners until testing on the batteries is complete to provide a safer environment for the airlines and their passengers. Facebook's recent messenger app change allows free calls through the use of Wi-Fi. Using software rather than hardware, the latest update lets U.S. users place voice calls over Wi-Fi. When Facebook released its messenger app last fall, it became more and more clear that messaging and mobile applications are priorities for the company. There have been rumors of a Facebook phone, however, competing with operating systems such as Android and iOS isn't a good idea in the eyes of Mark Zuckerberg, since Facebook hasn't made any hardware in the past. That's all news. I'm Mario Perez. Have a great weekend, Columbus. Hey, gentlemen, how are you? It's Dr. Dugard here. You see, I have some of my friends behind me in the picture. Saturday, this Saturday... Right next door, St. John Vianney, we have the annual Walk for Life. The Walk for Life benefits all the pregnancy centers in South Dade, all the centers that counsel young women who are pregnant not to have an abortion. So come on out. It's service hours opportunities there. You guys that are uh, upperclassmen know. You walk laps around the reflection pool. You get your, uh, your uh, paper stamped. You bring them in to me, and you get service hours. Okay, it's a great opportunity. It's good to be with the family. Mike one, Mike one, Mike Look one, at the Mike babies one. behind me. Every year, uh, almost a million Mike of those three. are aborted in the United okay. States. Let's try to save at least one this Saturday. Let's go out to the Walk for Life. Have a great day.
set himself on fire. Literally. For more, we go to Andrew. Thanks, Chance. Here's your entertainment for today. Strelix accidentally set his hair on fire yesterday. The DJ was in Hollywood, California yesterday for his own birthday party. He was leaning over to blow out his candles when his lock accidentally caught on fire. Luckily for Strelix, another guest saw his hair ignite and told Strelix. The same fan filmed the, filmed the event, so now it's available to view on YouTube. Strelix suffered from no serious damage and laughed it off. Al, Cap Al, Cap excuse me. Al Capcino has chosen to play the late Joe Paterno, a film about the former Penn State football coach. The film, titled Happy Valley, will follow all Joe Panansky's best-selling book, Paterno. Panansky's book covered Paterno's last years as the winning football coach in NCAA history, as well as the coach's downfall that began in 2011 with the sex abuse scandal involving Jerry Sandusky. With, with this said, Pressman has not yet given details to the plot of Happy Valley and says it remains, quote, under wrap, end quote. No release dates have been given for the flick. That's all entertainment. Have a wonderful Friday. Back to you. The Heat took on the Lakers for the first time this season. For more on the story, we go to Danny after the break. Good morning, Explorer Nation. It's me again, Lou Aguilera, President of Total Bank and a proud Columbus Explorer, Class of 1977. Total Bank is excited about all the plans and activity you have in store for 2013, and I'm here today with 14 of my fellow Columbus alumni bankers to let you know that Total Bank is 100% behind your explorers. That's right. These Total Bankers once sat exactly where you are today, taking similar classes and preparing for the future. Today, we all work together in running one of Miami's biggest and most successful community banks that is proud to be the Bank of the Columbus Explorers. We would like to give a shout out to the Columbus soccer team as they go on to play at the GMAC. Good luck. And remind everyone that our basketball team is playing Belen this Friday night at UM. So let's go out there and support the team. Also, the guys from the Respect Life will participate in a Walk for Life benefit and we'll also travel to Washington, D.C. to do the March for Life for the 40th anniversary of Roe versus Wade. Also, I hear that Steve O'Brien, Adam Scholler, Eric Pino, and the entire Castaway for Cancers team are once again planning their, and training for their annual Miami to Key West paddle to raise funds for the American Cancer Society. I am proud to report that I have joined the Castaways and will be making the 160-mile tour with them. Also, Total Bank will sponsor the group and help make a difference. So let's get ready for a great year and know that these explorers have your backs and are proud to say, Go Columbus! Good morning, Columbus. I'm Danny Villanueva with your sports for today. In some NBA news, the long-awaited matchup was last night as former NBA champion Miami Heat faced off against the new look Lakers. The, the Heat were led by a spectacular performance from LeBron James, who had 39 points along with 7 rebounds. 
Dwayne Wade played a big role as he scored 27 points and dished out 5 assists. Kobe Bryant had a solid outing as he racked up 22 points despite many attempts by the Lakers. The Heat would prevail by a score of 99-90. to The Heat will now travel back home to face the Raptors Wednesday. In some NFL news, the Philadelphia Eagles introduced former Oregon head coach Chip Kelly yesterday as the official head coach for the Philadelphia Eagles. The hiring comes after the Eagles let go of Andy Reid following the Eagles 4-12 record. Jeffrey Lurie, the Eagles owner, said, quote, The key was to find the right leader, not make the fastest decision. We really were able to circle back with Coach Chip Kelly, end quote. Another interesting note in this hiring is how Oregon is still currently under investigation of possible recruiting violations. Many Oregon sources are reporting that the departure was due to the impending sanctions of Oregon. In some NFL news, Jonathan Vilmo won't be able to fulfill his personal vendetta against Roger Goodell. A district judge in New Orleans has dismissed Vilma's defamation lawsuit against Goodell, in which the Saints linebacker sued the commissioner for allegedly creating a negative image of, his, of himself. As you may recall, Goodell suspended Vilma for an entire season for his role in the Saints' bounty scandal. Though he was relieved of his suspension by appeals officer and former commissioner Paul Tagliabue when asked about the, his decision, Judge Ginger Berrigan said that the case has lingered long enough and there's a need for the end of it. In some school sports, the Explorers raised their record to 17-3, and a 64-47 record over Braddock Colum excuse me. Columbus had four players in double figures. Kevin O'Brien led the way with 16 points and seven rebounds. Chris Melendez had 14 points. Johnny Minervino scored 13 points. And Danny Rico chipped in with 11 points. The Explorers will face off against Belen tonight at the Bank United Center on the campus of the University of Miami at 7.30. Please come out and support your Explorers. That's for me, Danny, up in the sports booth. Stay tuned. Faculty members who wish to have a message aired on CCNN, please email your announcement to Columbus News on your Outlook Rogers book. Attention freshmen, your class trip to Disney's Magic Kingdom is Saturday, February 2nd. Permission forms are on Edline or Mystery Bar's room in C23. The cost of the trip is $110. The deadline is January 12th, 25th. Intramural dodgeball will kick off Tuesday following Martin Luther King Day at 245 on the tennis courts. There's still time to sign up. All are invited to show up Tuesday and, and play, even if you ha have not found a team. If you want school sports updates, you can follow us on Facebook at CCNN or on Twitter at CCNN Live. To receive Twitter updates on your phone, text follow space at sign CCNN Live to 40404. From all of us here from CCNN, have a great day, Columbus. <laughs> 